guys and ghouls, so today I thought I would talk about something which I've been getting so many questions about. So many of you have noticed and pointed out that I have a new piercing in the middle of my face. Um, so I recently got a septum piercing. Now I've had this hole in my face for quite a long time, but for the first month I had like a bullet keeper in there so you couldn't see it. So it was a little secret that I may have told you actually, but now I'm admitting it fully in a video. So I got my septum pierced. What I thought I'd do is I'd make like a three part video thing about it. So first off I'm just going to tell you about it and then I thought I'd make a whole video about my septum jewelry collection because <laughs> she bought a lot and then I also thought I would do a Q&A in case after all of that you guys still had some questions. Now as you can probably see I am no stranger to piercings. I do have two other facial ones and I also have a shed turn in my ears. But yeah I haven't had one for a really really long time. When I was 16 and I could legally get piercings in England I went insane and I got a million and one piercings done um, and then I didn't really get anything for ages. I think maybe two years ago I got the um, wrong side. I got my tragus done um, but that was probably like the first one I had got done in like three years prior to that um, and then so it's been a really long time since I got one. I think when I turned 18 and I was legally able to get tattoos I kind of went more crazy with that just because I had so many options and so many choices and there were so many things I could do I kind of decided to spend my money more on that because all body modifications are relatively expensive and I kind of just wanted pumpkins on me basically so recently my boyfriend got a tattoo on his arm and we are relatively good friends with the guy who was doing it who is a super professional both piercer and also tattoo artist which just naturally means that we've been going and visiting the shop a lot more than we had been in the past like four or five years. We kept going down and I kept kind of looking at the price list, looking at the jewellery, kind of thinking, not really sure what I want to get done. I did have a few ideas. I have got one of my nipple spears and I was thinking of maybe getting the other one done. I was potentially thinking of redoing my belly button piercing. I did have that done when I was like 16, but it got like really infected and it went to a rubbish piercer. Um, so I took that out. So I was thinking of getting that redone. But something I have always wanted is my septum. But I've just been a little bit iffy just because to me it's like a really extreme piercing which I know it sounds really really st like stupid when I have like my lip and my nose done and I've like stretched my ears up and things but for some reason I just was a little bit apprehensive about it. So I've wanted it done for about five years and I can honestly tell you now before I go fully into the story just get it done. If you want to get it done don't wait five years like I did but we're in the piercing studio. I will leave links to the piercing shop down below because I would highly recommend it if you are able to drive there or get a train or a bus there. It is within a reasonable distance I would 100% recommend going there um, but I was thinking of getting another one. He had done loads of piercings for me before which all turned out really really nicely compared to like the really rubbish belly button piercing I had done in a really cheap place. Um, but I was talking to him, um, I kind of had an idea about maybe getting scaffolding done in my ear. He was really kind of assessing my ears, seeing if I had the correct anatomy for it. And then my boyfriend was like, oh, she also wants her septum done. So we had a look up my nose, which was absolutely fantastic. I had not prepared for this. I was very worried that it was full of bogeys. And he had a look up and he said my nose was just the right size to get one done. It is very, very important to listen to your piercer. And a professional piercer should not pierce your septum if you do not have the correct anatomy. But basically, I had a sweet spot like here, which you can go through. From what I can tell, and I'm not a professional, so please do not take this as gospel, but the sweet spot is like a fleshy bit that you have like here in your nose, um, and it's just before the cartilage. Now, you do not want to pierce through the cartilage. It can be done, but it's like the worst idea because it's super painful and it's really, really hard to heal, and most often than not, your piercing will reject. So you kind of need to have a big enough sweet spot at the front of your nose. Now, I have quite a small nose, like... I definitely feel like this septum ring especially is helping to make my nose look a bit more important to my to my face but I have like a tiny nose along with like tiny ears I'm not really sure what that's about thank you jeans for that but whatever so I had this really small nose and I was kind of thinking I probably wouldn't be able to get it done but he had a look and he said I've got this sweet spot right at the top here that will be fine to do it just be big enough blah 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 so I said to him like I don't know if I should do it I've been thinking about it for five years and he said let's just go through and get it done now of course if I had been like no I can't do it he wouldn't have forced me but I kind of feel like I was someone that needed that like little push like someone to say 
you're gonna get it done. Let's go. Because when I was in there and getting it done, I was like super excited and I wasn't like scared or anything. But I definitely know within myself if I was there and I knew that I'd be regretting it or if I was super worried or anything like that, I would not have gone through with it. But I just needed someone to give me that little push. Now I'm gonna apologize right now because I'm a little bit of like a piercing elitist just because I am very, very picky. I myself have been there. I've got ear piercings with a gun before. Um, I have been to rubbish pierces. As I said, I got my belly button done at a rubbish place where I got infected. I have been to my fair share of bad places so I I know what it's like and I think because I have that experience of going to bad places I really appreciate how a, how good a good place is if that makes any sense. So I've been going to this piercer for a really long time. He's very very knowledgeable about like anatomy and what can and can't be done and I fully fully trust him. Um, for example like he told me when he looked at my traguses this one was not big enough for me to pierce whereas this one was. So I fully just went with what he said, got this one done, healed perfectly. So yeah I just fully trust him. He does do things slightly differently. When I came back I had done some research videos which is why I'm making this video and a lot of them were very different to my experience so I kind of wanted to tell you my experience just because as I said I'm a piercing elitist and honestly this has healed so so well I just wanted to share this with you because hopefully it will inspire you guys to go see a professional if you ever do want a piercing they said he checked my nose made sure it's okay and, and then got the piercing jewelry now the whole piercing process is completely different to what I have seen other people talk about especially here on YouTube and videos but I laid back on um, like it was kind of like the kind of bed that you would get tattooed on like a massage bed almost and I laid so that the bed finished at the bottom of my neck so my head was like laying back like this absolutely fantastic shot I know so I was like this and so basically he could see up my nose so there was none of this like clamping business where they're like pulling your nose up there was none of that I was fully in like a natural position in the fact that like my nose wasn't being moved at all I was literally just laying back now this probably was a bit of an awkward position like it wasn't the most comfortable just because they didn't have any head support but since like the bed kind of ended on my neck I kind of had that neck support if that makes sense and I was only in that position for pretty much 30 seconds so it was fine but so straight off the main difference which I've seen is I didn't have any clamps so nothing like distorting my nose in any way now I think like the benefit of not using a clamp which I know like the point of the clamp is so that you can like see up the nostril etc but I think by having my head back so he could see up there anyway it just kind of cut out that unnecessary step of like distorting my nose so I could get a needle through and it ensured that I had it done in the exact position that I wanted. There was no chance of it being wonky or like, like when my nose was released from the clamps it looking weird. It meant when they pierced it in the natural position that's how it would naturally look at the end. So as I said I had it done with a needle. I do not even think you can get your septum done by a gun but if you are planning on getting it done by a gun please don't. I had it done using a needle as I said it went through of course it hurt because it was a needle going through my nose but it definitely wasn't that painful I honestly can't tell you like pain ratings compared to like other piercings because I had them done so so long ago and also I'm really used to like sitting in a chair having a tattoo done for like hours on end so my pain threshold is pretty high um but yeah it hurt but of course it was going to hurt because it was going through my nose um now when it goes through your nose what it does do is it kind of triggers your tear ducts here so you do kind of get like watery eyes now maybe you could say that i was crying but my piercer was explained this literally happens to most people just because where it is up your nose it, it just kind of activates your eye like tear ducts um and you get a couple of like tears so i went with like full-on makeup and i ended up with like black mascara everywhere it does look a lot worse than it actually is just because my makeup was like everywhere but honestly i can tell you i wasn't like crying from pain it was just like a natural instinct he also explained to me which i kind of sort of remembered from when i got my nose done um if you get like your nose pierced on this side like this eye like waters and if you have it done on that side this one waters so it is all just like normal bodily functions but yeah that happened it was like a quick pinching pain um it probably lasted for like one second at most where it went through and then I had another little bit of kind of uncomfortable pain when the piercing jewelry went back the other way so basically he pierced it through so I had this like lovely bar through my nose like this and then he put my piercing jewelry in so this was the next thing I wanted to talk about because again another experience which I had which no one else seems to have had on the internet either now you are probably very used to seeing people having their septum pierced and a piece of this kind of jewelry being put through very very often a kind of circular kind of horseshoe barbell gets put through your nose as soon as you've had your piercing 
So once my piercing was done, I had this bit through my nose, which is kind of like a bullet. So basically it's in like a stud kind of shape. The end on this side is slightly bigger to stop it going through and it has a little o-ring on this end. So basically he put the needle through and then, and then he threaded this little bullet in and pulled it back through. So it had this kind of flat bar and then he added the little o-ring onto the end. I am pretty sure that some people will call these keepers. I definitely would say if you get the opportunity to heal with a straight bar keeper like this, definitely, definitely pick it over something like a circular barbell. Well, this is kind of where my like elitism comes in because I wouldn't get pierced by anyone who was going to put a circular barbell in. I'd just say like leave and go away. But from my research that I've done since getting my piercing done, I don't think there are actually that many shops that offer like an actual straight keeper. Most of them do just put a horseshoe barbell in so i mean i'm not gonna say that it doesn't work if you put a horseshoe one in because there are so many people who had it done and there are so many shops and i'm constantly seeing videos going up of people who have one put in straight away and theirs heals absolutely fine but i think just on like just from my experience i cannot recommend like a straight bar enough so i'm just gonna reiterate i'm not saying it doesn't work if you put oh, like a horseshoe one in I just think it's probably better for your nose and your healing process if you do put a straight one in so I had this straight one in which the only kind of negative of having that in is because for like a month afterwards it doesn't look like you have anything in your nose and you're like why did I spend all this money on a piercing that I cannot see so that explains why you wouldn't have seen it for a really long time while it was healing but it was up here in my nose once I had it done I couldn't touch my nose like if I did that it hurt if I knocked it it hurt when I put my clothes on it hurt it was just a pain and it hurt like that for about three days after I had it done every day it got slightly less painful and my healing process I do actually still have some left in the packet, but they did give me some of this rock salt. What I did following the correct measurements which they gave me, I put like a teaspoon of this in with the correct amount of boiling water and I put it in a little, do I have one here? One of these. There's actually still some water in because I was re-cleaning it this morning. I like to keep everything nice and clean even after it is healed. So I put it in here and then, and then I put my nose in and I like soak my nose in there. And then after I had soaked it in the boiling water and the salt solution, obviously I waited for the water to not be so hot. Once I had soaked it in there for about four minutes, I then would take a Q-tip and I dip it in the water and just clean either side. And that was basically my cleaning healing process for the four weeks which I was healing it like that. I did the salt soak morning and night for that whole period. After like three days it did stop hurting. It did still hurt if I like did this. I'd say after a week and a half there was absolutely no pain at all. I could move my nose like in all directions, no pain. I could move the bar up inside my nose because there was this tiny little bit of wiggle room. I could wiggle and move the bar, no pain at all. So it did kind of heal to the point of there being no pain within a week. However, I did want to follow the guidelines of waiting to three to four weeks before I actually changed the jewellery out into a different piece of jewellery. Now, from what I've seen, some septum piercings do take longer to heal, especially if they've got their circular barbell in. I think that's because it is constantly moving. If you imagine this little bar was just in my nose, my body was just doing its thing, healing its heel, like doing what it wanted. However, like if you've got a circular one, like you're gonna kind of naturally fiddle with it. It's gonna move, it's gonna swing. Um, I have seen if you do have one and you kind of need to hide it for work, keep it hidden like the whole time or keep it out the whole time. Like do not keep moving it because you're just gonna aggravate it. So I think that's another like really big positive of having it done just with a bar. You're not tempted to fiddle around or move it. It's just stuck where it needs to be do what it needs to do and then once it is healed you can then play around and honestly a month goes so quickly it was like before I knew I could change it out when it came to changing it out I did actually go back to my piercer it's quite a long drive but I did want to go just so I could get like the all clear he could check it and make sure there was no aggravations make sure it was fully fully healed before I messed around with it so at that point he did take out that bar and put in this circular barbell as for how it felt when the drew was changed I felt him like rooting around in my nose to kind of take the little o-ring off but after that was off I didn't feel the jewelry come out and then he was like now I'm gonna put the horseshoe thing in and he put it in and I can quite honestly hand on my heart I did not even feel it go through like he was like and it's done and I was like seriously like I thought he was still like trying to fiddle around to get it through the hole but it went straight through and I didn't feel it at all so after watching all these videos of people going ah, 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 as they were changing it I was really worried and actually it did I, I didn't even feel it it was so so pain-free now 
I think this is probably down to two things. I probably had it pierced in the exact correct position so it went right through the sweet spot so it's not like affecting my cartilage at all. I was also very thorough when cleaning it so it wasn't affected or anything. And also I think that straight bar belt to make sure it healed really really nicely. So now I can like move it around and do whatever I want and it doesn't feel weird. So I did come home, I swapped out my circular barbell for this, which is like, it's meant to be one of those ones where it's like a full like ball closure ring, but I just took the ball closure out and put like a little um, o-ring on either side. So the reason I swapped out to this one is because I had it pierced with a 1.6 millimeter needle and then when he took the bullet out he put a 1.2 horseshoe ring in just because it was slightly smaller and kind of looked a bit nicer in my nose. However I had bought a shed ton of like septum clickers and they are all 1.6 so I didn't want like my hole to shrink and then not be able to wear any of my other jewellery. So I put this in pretty much like five hours after I got it changed. Again the jewellery came out very very easily, I didn't feel it and this just slid in no pain at all absolutely amazing I honestly it feels like I've had this done for like 45 years it just feels like that healed which is crazy when it's only been like four weeks but like there is no pain there is no discomfort I can't even feel it going in like obviously my nose isn't numb because I can feel my nose um but it just feels so nice and so like easy to do. I did have this one in for a couple of days just because I wanted to make sure that it was used to it. As I said, it got pierced with a straight one, but it can like fully cater for circular ones as well. I cannot like tell you whether or not if you get it done with a circular one, if you can put straight ones in, um, but I can tell you that mine caters for both. And oddly enough, like neither the circular ones or the straight ones feel more comfortable. Over the next couple of days, I was just playing with various different clickers. Um, I've got loads of like really simple ones, which I really like. I love just the simple round ones. I think they're really cute. But then of course I did also invest in some fancy ones, some black and red ones to match my hair. Um, so I have got quite a few different ones now. And as you can see, some of these clickers are straight at the top, whereas other ones are completely circular. I can vouch for the fact that all of these feel very comfortable in my nose. So overall I had a really really positive piercing experience, I'm so so happy with it, um, it is like 4 nearly 5 weeks down the line, it is fully healed, I'm able to wear all the jewellery which I've got, I've got so much jewellery, so, so as I said if you guys are interested I will make like a try on haul because I just have like so many clickers it's unbelievable, but yeah I am so so happy with it, I don't know why it took me so long to get it, I'd probably say like getting it pierced was probably about as painful as like all my other ones, it was nothing spectacular and I'd say healing wise it was probably the easiest to heal the quickest to heal I kind of describe it as like if you put an earring through like a lobe you just you can kind of feel it gone through but like it doesn't hurt it's like no discomfort at all putting it through I'd say it's pretty much the same I don't even have to like lift my nose up or anything to try and get these in I just kind of go and it goes through so it is amazing would highly recommend it to anyone it's a very very easy piercing to hide as well as I said you can get like a circular barbell and flip it up but on the flip side if you want to be a bit more fancy you can put something slightly larger in it so hopefully that answers some of your questions regarding how I got it done and the joy I put in and the whole kind of experience so as I said if you guys are interested I will do a like kind of septum clicker try on and show you my whole collection so I've bought so many a lot of them are quite dark and almost like gothic I guess you would count them as being and I have also got some spoopy ones as well so let me know have you got your septum pierced was it as carefree and easy to do as my one is it something that maybe you'd like to do in the future I will also leave a link down in the description below to Ashling O'Neill's video all about her one I think she had has done like two or three times so she probably has slightly more experience than me and obviously her whole process were different I'm pretty sure she got hers done with a curved one so I will leave her video down below because she's also a very reliable source when it comes to piercing information so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions or comments please do leave them down below if it's anywhere you are I hope you enjoy the shade and I'll see you next time bye